you might accidentally make your music on Spotify sound terrible without even noticing. My name is Troubleshoot, welcome back to another video. In this one, I'll be talking about Spotify's EQ. Obviously, this sounds a bit like a weird video, but let me start off with an example. This is a song. A bit lo-fi, very chilled, and let's say you want more bass. You can click your profile in the top right, settings, scroll down, and you'll find the EQ mixer here. If you set it to bass booster, for example, and like the result that you're getting but want even more out of it, you can of course crank these up and things should sound great. But this flat curve usually gives you the closest to what the artist intended to create, as everything that's mixed is done to their ear. If we listen to a song, then it sounds fine. Let's take this flat curve and push it all the way up. You may think that just by making everything 12 decibels louder, the music just gets louder and it should stay exactly the same, right? Well, actually, that's definitely not right. If I pull up my volume mixer, for example, you can see we're clipping here, but even if we turn it down to where it's really quiet, it still sounds terrible. This is simply because when we push audio above this line, it starts clipping in these different frequencies, meaning that it's too loud to actually be represented when it's sent out of the program and into Windows. Instead of doing this to get a bass boost, I'd highly recommend you do this. You drop everything else down, making certain frequencies louder. This way you get a clean bass boost with pretty much no distortion. To give you an extreme example, I'll do these up to the max. And you can hear there's quite a bit of clipping, but instead, if we drop these to the minimum, giving us a 12 dB boost in these, you'll see it sounds infinitely better. Obviously, this is a bit extreme, but most people tend to turn up the bass when they want to hear more, where in actuality, they should be reducing everything else to keep the audio as clean and as high quality as possible. Obviously, this is going to make things a bit quieter, but I'd highly recommend you check out your EQ curve to see if you're actually distorting and probably ruining your own music if you've applied your own EQ curve or even one of the default ones that just boosts the sound anyways. These are all terrible. Of course, you can use this to get a high quality, quote unquote, boost in certain frequencies, but this obviously makes the music a lot quieter. You can only do this to a certain point, in which case you can raise these up a little and it usually sounds okay. But anything way higher than this usually results in clipping and distortion. To give you a bit of a better example, I'll pull up Equalizer APO, a system-wide equalizer for Windows. If you'd like a guide for this, you'll find one down below. These are the custom EQ graphs that I have set for my audio, and you can see all I've done here is I'm dropping certain frequencies to better fit the curve of my headphones and what I want to hear. At the very bottom, you can see the resultant of everything put together. Nothing crosses the 0 dB line. If we were to, for example, add a new mixer and boost the lower frequencies, you can see things start to go red. This means that they'll be clipping as it's louder than what's as loud as possible, 0 dB. While this may seem counterintuitive, it's actually true. If I were to play music here with this simple bass boost, then it'd be distorted in these frequencies. The only real way to get a clean EQ in Equalizer APO or Spotify is to drop the other frequencies you don't necessarily want to hear. Anyways, super quick, extra nerdy video, but if you weren't aware of this and you've mixed your audio to sound how you like it, try doing it this way. Even though it'll technically be quieter, it should sound infinitely better. That being said, of course, Spotify isn't exactly lossless or a super high quality source, but for most people it's good enough and making it just a little bit better if you've already EQ'd it and played around with it for free is great. So hopefully this video helped you. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.